Oh, look at my hair. Y'all, excuse the hair. I gotta wash it. That's why it's uh pulled back. It's got all that air control and gel and jam and stuff in it. I gotta wash it. She got lights. I ain't got no lights. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. wash it later. But I am about to make some breakfast. And I'm make French toast. I'm gonna use this kind of bread. This chinchilla or chahula. Or how you pronounce it. It looks like this. That bread to make my French toast. You said what? But that's the bread I'm gonna make. Then I'm gonna make some bacon, sausage, and eggs to go with it. So what? So why I do that? Make that noise. But I'm about to go ahead and make us some breakfast and get our breakfast started because I'm hungry. I've never made French toast a day in my life. Well, I attempted to make it a long time ago, years ago. I think I was married when I tried to make it. And it came out nasty. It was soggy. That's because I let the bread soak. And I wasn't supposed to. So, I am about to redeem myself. And make it again. So, y'all. Let me get started on this breakfast. Because <laughs> sister is hungry. Oh, so, y'all. i start making this. French toast from scratch for my very first time. And yes, I decided to share it on camera because if I mess it up, <laughs> you guys can see it. And if I if I don't F it up, then what can the word be? I hooked it up. So it's going to either be fuck up or hook up, whichever one. So let me show y'all how to start prepping the first step to the French toast that I think I narrowed down. In doing so y'all I am going to use French vanilla creamer French vanilla creamer ground cinnamon nutmeg and vanilla eggs and some sugar and grab the sugar you know what y'all I don't have no measurements I'm just about to go off of my own um like my own, you know, uh, measurements and just play it by eye. You know, sometimes that's how that stuff turn out better. So I'm about to crack these eggs. I think I'm going to use three eggs. Three large eggs. I hate these, this and things in the eggs. I always gotta I feel like that's like the spine of the chicken and it probably really isn't it's just my own I can't get this one it's just my own uh it's a mental thing for me y'all so I got um the three eggs. I'm gonna lightly beat them. Add my creamer, my French vanilla creamer. You can use milk, but I'm using French vanilla creamer. So I'm in here. I'm gonna pour. It's probably gonna be about fourth of a cup or half a cup, somewhere around there. And I'm going to whisk it in. My uh, ground nutmeg. And I'm not going to measure nothing. If I got to get your estimate, I would say about um, half a teaspoon, maybe. Or, or not a half, or a fourth of a teaspoon. So this is my nutmeg. It depends on your own personal flavor, your own personal taste. I don't like to use a lot of cinnamon because I'm not a big cinnamon type person. So I'm going to use about maybe a half to a fourth to a half a teaspoon as well. So 
put my cinnamon in here. Then I'm gonna add about I'm gonna say this will be about a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm going to add about a, a tea, about a tablespoon of sugar. About. I, and of course, I'm not measuring nothing. You probably don't even need that much sugar. But I'm kind of on the sweet side of stuff. Even though the creamer is sweet, I don't want no um, bland tasting um, French toast. So now that I got the mixture, so now that I got the mixture um, blended and mixed, I'm gonna cut the bread up into like um, like uh, cut pieces or cut pieces. I'm about to cut the bread. Okay, so I'm gonna set my mixture to the side and let me grab the bread. I'm gonna use a bread knife to cut the bread. It's a, um, you can use any knife, but I'm gonna use a bread knife because it cuts better with a bread knife. But I think I cut that piece too thick. Cause you want your bread to be thicker than uh, uh, regular average bread. So it's about, I cut it about that thick. It depends on, I guess, the how the, the thickness that you like. But I'm going to cut it pretty thick because French toast should be pretty thick. back down yeah I ain't even turn the griddle on so I'm gonna turn it on about 350 to let it heat up and since I'm not a big butter person I don't like butter at all really I'm gonna use coconut oil it's in the spray can or you can use the kind in a jar but I'm going to use the kind in the can because it's just as easy. So my griddle is is now heated up. I am going to, you know, when you got a griddle, you really don't have to put no type of oil or nothing on there. But if you want to do it for flavor, as I told you guys, I'm not a big butter person. So I'm going to use co coconut oil. I'm going to use coconut oil. I did turn it down to about 300 because I don't want it to uh, burn or cook too fast. So I'm going to um, take my bread and I'm going to set it in a thing about five seconds on each side. Not to let it soak it up, just five seconds on each side. And then I'm going to put it on the griddle. And let it cook. Okay, so you guys, I got it on the griddle. I am going to let it cook on both sides. So you don't want to flatten it out because you don't want no flat French, I mean no flat 
French toast. So it cooked on that side. I'm going to flip it over and cook it on the other side. Turn it down some so it won't burn. Last thing I want is some burnt French toast. So yeah, this is the final result from my homemade French toast. It's ugly, but I'm pretty sure it tastes better than it looks because it does taste, I tasted it already. It does taste really good. But this was my first attempt and I think there's a first time for everything. So we're going to see how it goes. JJ, what you say? You say that again. They're good without syrup? I guess I got an okay on my first time making French toast. Yay me. Yay me. <laughs> now when you're done, you're going to clean up your room, right? I mean, it's just the bread. It's the bread? It's the flavor, too. Don't hold me. Mostly the bread. That's why you got to mess it up. <laughs>